Hi guys, we're going to take a quick look at the software that comes with the Gigabyte Ultra Durable Z97X UD5H motherboard. Um, it is the Gigabyte App Center and once it is installed it runs automatically. You can find it in your little tray down here, the App Center. And when you click on that it pops up. You have five tabs. Of course you have a preferences setting on the gear here. And then you can just minimize, well, once I get out of that, you can just minimize it and it goes away. But bring it back up. Right away you can see the five tabs. You've got Live Update, which is uh, probably my favorite part of this software. Uh, I've already run it, so it's going to check for updates and then it's going to tell you, you know, in this case, that I'm already running the newest version. Um, but what this allows you to do, it'll download new BIOS, it'll download Windows updates, it, it basically just everything, it updates all your stuff, you know, all your main stuff anyway. But again, like I said, my version is the latest version, I already ran the program, oops, and now I just closed it. Uh, you have the Easy Tune, which is just like it sounds, it's a overclocking tool. Um, and you can see right here, I've got everything just set at stock, 3.8. It's running a little bit low on the BCLK, on the base clock. Um, you can check voltages and everything here. Um, bring this to the forefront. You can see it's a smart quick boost, an advanced CPU overclock, advanced DDR overclock, uh, you know, obviously for your RAM, and then 3D power. And you can set you know everything here for your energy saving light medium or extreme overclocks energy saving default or auto tuning uh, I'm not gonna run any of this currently but it's just like it sounds you can you can see right here it's at 4.1 gigahertz on the medium it's at 4.3 and the extreme will be 4.5 I can tell you right now I've played with it enough this chip that I have is not gonna hit 4.5 I could probably do 4.3 pretty easy. I usually keep it at 4.2 just because it's, you know, then I don't have to worry about heat and I can keep my fans turned down a little bit. Um, the point is, so you can use these to quickly and easily automatically overclock them to those numbers. Or you can use the auto tune, which will basically go through and slowly overclock your chip a little bit at a time until it finds. Uh, basically the sweet spot and then it'll stop and uh, you know I, I'm gonna include more information on all of this in the official write-up of the review feel free to read more about that or of course you can check out gigabytes website for all the full details I'm gonna pop open the app center again so that was easy tune now we are at the cloud station and I'm going to turn off the remote OC. There we go. Sometimes it's a little bit unresponsive. The remote OC, it, well, when you open up the cloud, you see you have five tabs down here. Um, the OC is the first one. Remote OC allows users to remotely control their desktop PC with a powerful suite of software functions that include overclocking and system tweaking system monitoring plus the ability to also remotely power down the PC when needed. EasyTune Touch also offers a unique quick boost function with three preset overclocking configurations that offer hassle-free performance enhancement at the touch of a button. That's what we just looked at. Uh, then you have Bluetooth, which this particular motherboard is not Bluetooth enabled, so I don't really have access. You can see they're all grayed out, but the software is still here. Uh, this is something that I really, really like. I use this on my phone and my main computer. Uh, not this exact one, but a very similar program that I actually paid like $12 for. Uh, but this comes free with this motherboard, so that's very nice. It's Gigabyte Remote, turns your Android mobile device into a handy, easy to use remote control. It allows you to take complete control of your desktop PC remotely using your mobile device to control mouse and keyboard functions from across the room. It connects to your PC via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, offering simple and convenient interaction with your PC from the comfort of your sofa. Um, 
Now, since this particular motherboard is not Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled, I'm not 100% sure if this will work on this one. I think it will because it'll work through the Wi-Fi on your router. You know, once you've got your computer plugged in via the Ethernet and it goes to your router and everything, then you're on Wi-Fi. So it should work just fine, I would imagine. Uh, of course, I will test that and make sure and let you know in the written portion of the review. Then you have, <coughs> excuse me, then you have this hotspot. And again, this computer does not support this feature. But uh, if it did, you could make this network connection available for sharing and things like that. And then you have the cloud. And the home cloud is just what it sounds. It allows your portable devices your Android phone or your iPhone to access files on your home PC via wireless or 3G network. Um, your portable devices must have the appropriate apps installed and I'm sure you can get those at whatever app store for your iPhone or whatever the Android equivalent is. Um, just get the apps and then you're connected and you can share everything. So that's the for the <coughs> excuse me for the cloud station. Then there is the USB blocker. Now, it comes all unblocked by default. I want to say this is more, this is not something you would necessarily use in the privacy of your own home, but you would probably definitely want to use something like this at like a LAN party or if you went to a public area. You can basically set a password to any one of these kinds of uh, a communication device, a printer, mass storage, smart cards, vendor specific, so you know that could be just about anything. And uh, you can block your USB connections and you can block your USB devices so that they are password protected. Um, I don't have one, I'm not going to set it up because I'm in the comfort of my home, but that's pretty nice to have. And then again, like I said, the BIOS from the live update, the BIOS that you download, you go here and you can update the BIOS, but uh, I'm not gonna run that, but you can see it'll automatically terminate a lot of programs. It'll start to restart the computer and everything. And that's that, that is the Gigabyte App Center. Uh, not too much to it, very simple, very easy to use and look at. Uh, only took me a few minutes to run through all of that and that's with me trying to explain it to you. If you sat down with it, you'd have it figured out in just mere moments. Um, the main thing I think people are going to be using is this OC tune. Like I said, for overclocking their chips and things like that. Um, if that's what you want to do. I still prefer to do that in the BIOS myself. Now, uh, one last thing in the last couple minutes to look at. Something that Gigabyte has done that I think is going to be the most popular thing uh this year with motherboards is they have this uh gigabyte smart switch and you'll have to forgive me the flicker of the tv because this is a terrible terrible tv but this is gigabyte smart switch it's another little program that comes with the motherboard comes right on their disc uh let me show that to you real fast just on the you know on the standard disc it's dark in here you can't see it forgive me but it basically turns Windows 8, you can see down here in the bottom right corner, I've got Windows 8.1 installed, basically makes Windows 8 look like Windows 7. You've got your regular shutdown button here. You've got a little arrow key next to it. You can switch users. Um, I'm sure, oops, I didn't mean to click that. <clears throat> I'm sure you can change colors because I have to admit this white on gray background is pretty terrible. It's hard to see even sitting here. I imagine it's nigh impossible with the flicker you've got going on. Uh, but you have your documents, your pictures, your music, your computer, your control panel, devices and printers, default programs. You can choose your default screen, either just a, you know, whatever image you select or the standard start screen, the tiled metro start screen. And then you have your calculator, your remote desktop connection, your sound recorder, all the options that you had in Windows 7. And so that is the software that comes with the Gigabyte Z97X UD5H uh, Ultra Durable Motherboard. I really appreciate you guys watching. Now jump over and watch the rest of the main review. And of course come to our website 
and read through the entire review for all of the information that you need. Thanks.